This woman accused of murdering her own sister because that woman had a and her long distance boyfriend had been flirting apparently. What's going on? We had a problem and my sister is probably dating us. I don't know okay. if she's still alive. Okay, what happened? Stabbed. She was stabbed. She was stabbed? Who stabbed her? I did. Do you, what did you stab her with? A knife. Where's that knife now? It's next to her. Just made me hate her. And I figured that I don't have them together, but also if I did anything, he'd probably hate me anyway, too. So I was going to just to the door. This video shows the questioning of a woman who committed a crime against her sister, who she believed was trying to win over her boyfriend. Fatiha Marzan met Joseph Farmer on the internet and thought he was her future husband as their bond deepened. Their relationship stretched over five years despite the distance, during which Marzan devoted herself entirely to making their marriage happen sooner. She took a job and sacrificed her social life. Any hobbies or interests she previously enjoyed were also abandoned. Everything went well until Marzan's younger sister sister, Samya, became involved. Both sisters lived together in their parents' house, sharing a bedroom, where Marzan observed that Samya and Farmer were becoming overly friendly through their online chats. Marzan expressed her concerns to her boyfriend and sister, but her worries were mostly dismissed. When Marzan felt that she had lost Farmer to her sister, she decided that life wasn't worth living anymore and that she couldn't bear to see them together. Marzan purchased a pair of daggers online and waited patiently until her family was asleep. She then fatally stabbed Samya in the heart several times. However, before she could harm herself, another sister caught her in the act. So, uh, you called 911 earlier. Mm -hmm in reference to your sister, um, and I spoke to um, where's her name? Mar uh, Miriam? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and she kind of explained kind of what's going on, so I guess I just want to understand, like, from your point of view, um, what happened? Um. Despite being in a long-distance relationship for five years, the couple had never officially gotten engaged. How many times have you? Once. We were going to move out together, and then my sister knew how hard I was working to save up money. I was working 60-plus hours a week. And in the meantime, she was just doing that behind my back. Where did uh, that one time that you met Joseph, where was that at? Um, it was, he was only <clears throat> here for a bit, so it was at a hotel. Okay. He was traveling to Miami because he was, lived there most of his life, but then on the way back he figured he could stop by. Sure. Okay. Um, <clears throat> do you remember, like, when that was exactly? Mm, it was 2019. I think it was 2019, July. July, okay. Yeah. And you said that you were working like 60 plus hours. Is that in one week or like in a two week pay period? In one week. In one week, okay. Tell me about your job, what do you do? I caption calls for the hard of hearing. Caption calls for people that can't hear? Mm -hmm. Okay. How does that work exactly? I here I'm like listen in and I'm trans transcribing what the other person is saying to the person who can't hear. So then I type it out or speak it mostly and then um, they see the words on their screen. So if they can't catch everything, they can see what's said and it helps them. Okay. So you caption calls for essentially for, for, for deaf, right? Or almost. Most of them are elderly, but some of them not. Yeah. Okay. And 
you said you've been doing that for three years? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and so you've been you've been working for the past three years to try to save up to um, get a place with Joseph? Mm hmm Okay. And I've been, I first started, I paid off my car. That was 16000 And then... Then when you first started working there? Yeah, okay. and then I, my goal was to pay off my car so that I don't have to worry about that while paying rent. Oh, uh, yeah. And, um, yeah, and then the past year, um, I've mostly just been doing those extra hours. For the past year? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Except the past few months. What do you mean the past few months? What happened? Mm, that's when I started. Mm, I think there was like less extra hours available. Marzan was actively shaping her life around her plans to be with her boyfriend, something her sister couldn't have overlooked. And there wasn't as much availability. Okay. And I also had less motivation. Motivation? Okay. You maybe felt like you were overworked? or mm, something else? It was, the situation was getting complicated and... With you and Joseph? Mm -hmm. Or, okay, I just, I didn't know if you're talking about work or if you're talking about, yeah, okay. So, like, things were kind of, were, you were hitting some speed bumps in your relationship. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's understandable. I mean, if you're with someone for five years, I would assume there's, you know, there's always hard times, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, you do your best to work through it and, and get through it together, which it sounds like you tried very hard to do so. Mm -hmm. um, so, um, you had said that your sister, over the last year, has been making advance movements towards Joseph and flirting. You said that she mm -hmm. flirts with everyone. Um, how exactly did they communicate like, that you know of? Just every, like, texting, calling playing games together, just doing anything. Samia and Farmer primarily communicated through an online game. Due to the small size of the room Marzan shared with her sister, she could easily see the screen. Like, kind of like, did, it, did, did, are both of your sisters feel, like, do you feel like both of your sisters are portraying, portraying, or betraying you? I'm sorry. Betraying. My youngest, uh, the younger, one, youngest sister, um, she, um, it's like a kind of a past record thing of, you know, she's considerate towards me and the other one is past record of just not considering, like, my belongings or just my feelings at all. Yeah. It's, like, been since we were little, but like she just doesn't... So you guys are, what, a year, like, a year apart? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, if that. Um, then, so you're so close in age and you've always, sh have you always shared a room? Mm, for a long time. There was a long-standing history of sibling rivalry, and their animosity had likely been mounting for years. When a romantic relationship came into the picture, it became more than Marzan could handle. So y your uh, sister has been essentially trying to steal your boyfriend, or your fiancé, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. um, and um, it's just kind of taken a toll on you. It's just, it's been a long time coming, you've been working very hard um, to become more independent with Joseph and to get your own place, mm -hmm. um, and... Oh, which she had knowledge of. And she, yeah, and I mean, that room's small, so I'm sure there's, you know, mm -hmm. whatever you do she knows and whatever she does you know. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just been a long time coming, um, and so, so tell me what happened earlier this morning. I kind of decided that I would rather, since I thought there was no end to it, and then things had already, like, gotten past the point of me, like, that I was past the point that I was okay with. Um, to, um, to be honest, I didn't want them together at all. Just the fact knowing that she knew everything and was doing it intentionally. Like if it was like some other situation, some other way it folded out, I probably could have taken it normally. But this was just deliberate and it hurt too much. And it just made me hate her. 
And I figured <clears throat> that I don't have them together, but also if I did anything, he'd probably hate me anyway, too. So I was going to just do both of us. But my young, my youngest sister, <clears throat> there was a gap in the time because I felt sick after doing it, and I just needed a nap, so I took a nap, and then, and I was already sure, like, she was gone, but then, um, I took a nap, and then when I woke up, I was trying to just sort things out before going, but my youngest sister felt like something was going on, that I was being weird, so then she came to check up on me, so, and I have a weak spot for her, so, I let her in the room, and I told her everything, but she talked me out of it. Marzan felt trapped and hopeless, seeing no way out of her situation, and she had planned not to survive. Was Joseph, like, um, like, was he complimenting her back? Was he doing these things that she was doing? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I feel like a lot of it comes from, he wanted her not to be sad. And she would request things, for example, like, oh, why don't you match profile pictures with me? You do that with her. And um, he kind of just wanted both of us to be happy. And then I could see her, because I know him, I know how he acts because of what, it's just the things you observe. And I could see the difference or, like, the influence and, like, his mindset changing because he wants her to not be upset. Even after acknowledging that Farmer was also flirting, Marzan continued to place all the blame on her sister. This likely stems from their already strained relationship. How long have they been, how long have they, because you're... Kind of on and off, um, because, like, there was a time when... I don't know, I just didn't want her talking to him because I know how she is, so I told her to block him. But then she unblocked him. And they were still friends, but then when I told her not to talk to him, and she did stop talking to him, but then she went back without asking me because of her breakup with her boyfriend. When did she, that's what I was gonna ask, when did she break up with her boyfriend? I think it was 2020. Uh, maybe early 2020. I know when she started feeling, she was the one who broke up with him. That's also mm -hmm. what bothers me. She did it. She spent months not looking back at him. And then he wanted her the whole time. Only at the last second when he finally moved on, she just felt like, well, you moved on. But she was the one who broke up with him. Mm -hmm. And then that happened in um, maybe June, May, June, like that. Okay. Of 2020. As her sister persisted in ignoring her pleas to stay away from Farmer, and with Farmer himself not ending the contact, Marzen felt there was no hope of salvaging the relationship. This is when after that was when she kind of tried talking to different people and eventually tried talking to Joseph about it. She did? Mm -hmm. But October of last year is when things like got worse, like mm -hmm. when she tried to take their friendship to another level. Mm -hmm even though you are with Joseph. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, okay. And do you feel like Joseph, like, started to have feelings for her? And that's why it's been difficult oh, these, these mm -hmm. last, yeah, and that's what you've been trying to work through and, and get on better terms with mm -hmm. him for, okay. Um, you like both of us. Yeah, it's difficult. And then at some point I just felt it was like more her. That was after I tried waiting for her because I know she doesn't want me in the picture so I figured maybe she should just 
eventually when she realizes that he's not going to just be with her. But then he felt guilty. He felt guilty for doing that to me. Okay. And then it like Like leaving you? Or be even before he left me, that was the reason he kinda left me. Because he he was more complicated because he felt guilty, so then he wasn't like he liked me but he just felt bad. Because he liked the both of you at the same time? Mm -hmm. He wanted to leave both of us, but she... I don't know. And this was like this year? This year was like the complication, like or...? Yeah, the complication, but... Uh, well, this specifically about like leaving you and then not and type deal, like that uh, stuff. When was that? That was a few months ago. Uh, so June? did you guys like have a little... You said June? Like, did you have a little break, break oh, up, yeah. or? A little break, yeah. A little break. Where we were like, okay, just kind of like friends. And he continued to talk to Simon? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's difficult. Um, and then, I guess, how did, how did you guys reconcile or like how to because I mean, you're, you're telling me that he's your fiance so obviously you guys got back together do you mm -hmm. remember like when or like how that came about Technically, weren't together. Technically. Okay. Was he with your sister? Like. Not yet. Or he was not. But he there was like a wait, like a break, and then she uh, how it plays out. Okay, so like a break from both of you. Mm -hmm. And then there was like potential of what she wanted. Okay. And that's kind of when you couldn't. Mm -hmm. Talk yourself out of the things. Okay, so in June, this kind of happened, like the mm -hmm. complicated stuff. And it's been going on ever since. Mm -hmm. But he still talks to both of you? In, in like, a, just a friendly way? Or just, like, I mean... It feels like it's... I feel like he's nicer to her than me. He was being nicer to her than you? Okay. With me, he feels guilty. He feels so guilty, he's why? Because like he's hurting you? Mm-hmm. Or he feels guilty because he likes her? Or I'm sorry. Um, kind of both. Farmer manipulates the situation by playing the sisters against each other, but Marzan is unable to see this. So do you remember, like, what time this... Uh, what time the incident took place? Like when I when I did it. Mm -hmm. 4:30 a.m. And why why does that time? Like why did I choose that time? Or how did you know it was that time? I checked checked the phone. You checked your phone. Okay. And so you guys sleep in that bed together. I'm assuming. Okay. Did you guys both like go to bed the night prior? At the mm -hmm. same time, or? Uh, she sleeps earlier than me usually. What time did she go to bed? Oh, that night, um. Last night. Last night. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe around 3. A.M.? Yeah. Okay. So she went to bed around 3. Mm hmm. And you were still up? Mm hmm. Okay. What time do you normally go to bed? Like 5 or 6. In the morning? Mm hmm. Okay. 
Um, you went to bed. I'm sorry. This morning you you took a little. You said you had napped. You said five. Uh, that time I napped at. Uh, or you went to bed at five today, or you went to bed at six. Sorry. Or did um, I think I. I think last night I went to bed around five or maybe five thirty. So you, but you it normally go between hours. five and six. Mm -hmm. You normally fall asleep, and your mm -hmm. sister normally falls asleep around three. Mm -hmm. But last night she fell asleep around three, right? Mm -hmm. And then you fell asleep. Normally she might fall asleep around two. Okay, she, but last night she went to bed at three. Okay, and then um, you normally you go to bed or between five and six. But last night you went to bed at what, did you, what time do you say? Probably five. Five, okay. I don't remember exactly how long after, but it wasn't too long after because I just felt nauseous. Um, so, was your sister asleep? Marzan specifically chose that time for her actions because she knew her family would have completed their prayers and would have had enough time to fall asleep. So, you met friends like more through college or I actually did. My friends at college. Um, I had a couple friends in my classes at high school. Ninth grade, I had was more real life involved, but the last um, years of college, I was mostly just online friends. Okay. Okay. So, like your Snapchat friends, or you've met them like through. They were Snapchat friends were mostly through um, like a online virtual world game. Online gaming. Okay. Okay. And but you you've always like games like for like I guess before you were like serious about your job. You would mm -hmm. you liked video games and the gaming systems and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Okay. Um Okay. And um like in in high school did you ever get in trouble for anything? Once because I tried going home early on my birthday because oh. I wanted to go somewhere. But <clears throat> um, the, there's like a little security lady on the golf cart. She noticed it and then she's like, hey, you can't do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, those golf cart people, they get there. They, <laughs> they get around quick on those things. Uh -huh. um, okay, so like you tried to play hooky on your birthday. The detective has adopted a gentle and friendly approach, which is proving effective. Marzen has stayed relaxed and open, readily responding to every question without shutting down. But you got caught, so you didn't really play hooky. But okay, so, but did you have to like do, um, uh -huh. no, she just was like, go back to class, uh -huh. don't do it again. Okay. Um, but like you've never been, like, been in trouble like for fighting or any of that stuff, like. You know? It was the quiet kid. Quiet, yeah. But then no one has any reason to dislike me because I'm just nice. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. That's how um, your sister described you. She described you as, as nice. <laughs> so. Um, so, okay. Um, you know, I guess, like, how do you feel right now? Kind of sad. Well, I didn't plan on being here for the aftermath, but then I knew that it would be that he wouldn't want to talk to me, so I'm kind of sad. Um, my kids tease me the way he does now. It's just as easy the way he does, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I keep wondering if maybe it was a bad choice. But I thought about it and I just um, did it because of reasons. So right, yeah, reasons that we've talked about. And then those, hard, those reasons are like harder to see now that it's over with, just because there's like the sense of getting it over with. Right. 
Okay, that makes so then it makes me wonder if it was um after the fact. Right. And you're saying that um your sister had had caught you you said, well first you said you took a nap, right? Mm -hmm. And then when did you leave around what time did you leave your room? Oh, I didn't leave my room. Um, she wanted in. She wanted in. I okay. had been texting her. Okay. But she noticed, like, the past couple of days I was weird, and then um, I was texting her, like, <laughs> I said she was the best, and she was like, oh, that seems weird. <laughs> Why would she say that? <laughs> okay. Just telling her. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did Did she know what you were going to do? She kind of got a hint just from, I did accidentally mess up because I sent a message and she got a preview of it, but I didn't mean to send it. I meant to edit another message so it wouldn't give a notification. But <clears throat> basically she kind of saw part of it um, when it came up. and then. She was kind of suspicious. What did the message say that she made so? Well, I was telling her that what I did. Oh, you told her what you had already done? Oh, okay. I'm talking about before. Before you, before what happened at 4.30. At 4.30? Oh, my other sister. Yeah, did she know that you were going to do what you did to no. your... She didn't know until mm -hmm. I was going to... Do. Until it already happened. Yeah. And then you were contemplating trying to potentially kill yourself, right? Okay. Um, and I guess what was your reasoning for wanting to kill yourself? <clears throat> that it felt like everything was already ruined and that it was only going to get worse. Things with you and Joseph were already ruined? Okay. And yeah, and then there's just... Everyone would see me, like, a certain way because they don't understand the situation. Right. Okay. Um, have you ever tried to harm yourself? Uh-uh. No. I didn't expect... Me you did to, what? I didn't um, ever imagine doing anything like that oh. to me or something else. Sure. But, I don't know. Did, <clears throat> I don't really have much passion for anything, but he uh, was one of the only things I did have passion for, so my feelings about everything were just high end. Marzan had centered her entire life around Farmer, even at the expense of her friendships, working tirelessly to make a future with him possible. Farmer, however, never reciprocated with similar efforts, which might have been a clear indicator to Marzan that the relationship was not worth pursuing. Yeah, it seems like you were head over heels. Mm -hmm. Have you heard that saying before? Yeah. Um, okay. Is there anything else um, about, like, the complicated situation that you feel like I don't have a good understanding on? Or anything that you think is important that I know? Um. Does Joseph live by himself? <laughs> Does he live with his parents? Yes. Yeah. Really? Well, his parents got divorced, but now he has his mom and a little brother. Okay. <clears throat> but he's usually alone in his room. Okay. Do you know his mom's name? Kyle. Kyle? I know. K A Y O. K A Y O. That's his mother's name? Mm hmm. Is her last name Farmer? No, Sakuragi. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know how to spell that? Mm hmm S-A-K-U-R-A-G-I. 
That's it. Okay. Um, and what's his brother's name? Will. Um, Is it William by any chance, or do you think it's um, just Will? Yeah. Or not sure? Not sure. And do you know how old he is? Well, mm -hmm. approximately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe thirteen or fourteen. Okay. Um, your Amazon account. Is there a password for it? Mm -hmm. What's the password? Mm -hmm. I just want to see that purchase. Okay. I think that's S capital and P O O C H exclamation point one. I'm sorry, what? Exclamation point one. One. Mm -hmm. Anything else? It should be that. And the username do you need? Uh, yeah, just in case it's not there. Uh, Normally, like an email, if I'm not mistaken. I have two emails, I'm not sure which one it is. You could give me both. Um, one of them is S A M Y A M A R V A N at gmail.com. And the other one is. Is that, that your sister's name to some, right? Your no, sister? my one is M Y. And then her one is YM. Okay, so S A M Y A M A. It's not my legal name, but it's the name everyone calls. Okay, M A R Z A N at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. That could be one. And then what's the other? M E E T M E O W M E O W O W N Y A at gmail dot com. M-E-E-P-M-E-O-W-N-Y-A -E -E at gmail.com? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, do you know your username uh, for Discord? Blondpire. Oh, sorry. B-L-O-N-D-E. -E. Actually, wait, no. You have to put in the email. It's the second email. The meep. Yeah. Is it required to look through my messages? Um, no, no. Um, I'm just asking what your username is for the Discord. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I'll be real honest, though. I'm probably going to look through them. Um, it just depends on how I do so, whether it's through a search warrant or not, which I would probably do a search warrant anyways. But it's just easier to find um, your information this way. Mm -hmm. So, just part of the investigation. Because the talk was over call. With Joseph today? Or wait? Oh, now? that time and mm, like the breakup thingy. That was yeah. both overcome. Gotcha. Most of the important stuff is overcome. Gotcha. Did you send like pictures of yourself or something that you like what what's your hesitation? Why you don't want me to see the messages? Because, mm. I mean, I'll be real honest, you've been pretty straight up about everything, so <laughs> I'm I'm curious why you feel, like, hesitating or not wanting me to see it. Mm. One, I'm not sure if there's pictures. Okay. But two, um, I guess the it's embarrassing. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm not here to judge you, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm here to just kind of understand. Um, okay, so do you want to give me the information or no? Uh, is it fine if no? It's totally up to you. When asked to provide her user information, Marzen suddenly becomes hesitant, which is puzzling considering she has already confessed to the murder and admitted to planning it in advance. Okay. Um... And, and the dagger that's on the bed, it's the all-black one, right? And then you said it's also on the, the um, desk. The desk? Okay, mm -hmm. and it came, like, in a two-pack? I got two. 
you purchased two. Okay, what was the reasoning behind purchasing two? I just didn't feel comfortable using a used one. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you've got to... Get blocked. Okay, this whole time? Mm -hmm. Or the... When I made my mind up about Okay. But your sister, you said, was, was messaging you? Was she messaging you on, like, just regular text messages, or...? Yes. Okay. And that's another reason. So I obviously have to see, like, that conversation and, and what all took place. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, that she didn't know about it. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She... I didn't talk to anyone about it because I knew they would try to stop me. And I knew that, like... I knew her especially, that it would, I would just, I felt really bad because she likes me the most out of the siblings and we hang out a lot and, um, yeah, I just wanted to give her like a, like a note, but, at, and I told her to look at it later, um, but that's why I was gonna like, put it somewhere where it's not like in front of everything and then tell her to scroll up and look at it. But it, like I said, I accidentally sent it as a message so it came up as a notification and like the beginning of it, um, yeah, kind of gave it away what it was. But that plus the fact that she kind of just thought I was being different, um, she didn't say that. She just kind of assumed, like, that I was acting a little wrong. Okay. But then that last thing gave it away. But I wouldn't, I didn't tell her directly. I just told her when she wanted to come in the room because I'm just thinking, like, she's already here telling me she wants to come in, already suspecting. Then if I turned her away now, I, she probably would have just felt like, I was too late or something, and I would have felt worse than her have just being in another room and looking at it later. But I wanted to at least tell her in some way, just not at a time where she could try to convince me otherwise. But she was able to. <laughs> So I just want to make sure I understand that correctly. So basically you, you wanted to essentially give her like a goodbye letter and you didn't mean to send it, but part of it got sent and she kind of like picked up on what was happening. So then she was like persisting to get in and see you and talk to you and okay. Okay. But not that you know about it before. But she didn't, yeah, but she didn't know like your plan or what you were going to do prior. Okay. So that's why, you know, like, I need to see those messages. I need to confirm that. Um, so that, that that's just part of the investigation. So, um, so you know, okay. But do you know your, um, so I, I'm, I don't know Discord, but is it, like, there's a username? Is it? Username, password. Username, password, okay. It's actually, my one also has a two-factor authentication, and you need a separate app you have to log into and then you put in a code. And it's complicated so that it can't get hacked. I see. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. Understandable. Um, and do you know your, your sister's user or your sister's, like, name? Mm -hmm. What is it? Mari with two question marks. Mari, M A R I? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then your username starts, it's blonde something. Yeah. Blonde with the E at the end and then T I R E. P I R E. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. If you want, you could ask for her to show you. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Okay. 
Um, uh, do you have any pictures of Joseph on your phone? Like of him? Mm. Not many, but yes. Okay. I'm just curious as to what this person looks like. Okay. He's half Asian, half white. Okay. Well, Japanese, to be specific, so Japanese and white. And he has... Farmer will need to be questioned, even though he had no prior knowledge that Marzan would commit such an act against her sister. Um, I think his hair is... He hasn't sent any pictures in the half in the last, like, year. He was going to, but then every time, he, he's never been big on sending pictures, he just doesn't like the way he looks. Okay. And it's... But you met him. him. But I met him. Okay. And so, you know, just long black hair usually. It's yeah. long black hair? Mm-hmm, because he doesn't um, get a chance often to cut it since he's just, you know, in his young Okay. And he has to go to his aunt's house to get it cut. Gotcha. Does Joseph have a job? No, he was going to get one when he came here because it'd be simpler to, you know, instead of getting one and then having to get a new job and move. Gotcha. Okay. Does um, Joseph's phone number, does it start, um, do you know, like, the area code it starts with? The first couple of numbers? Or what do you have in label that you're in your phone? Bubby. Bubby, B U B B Y, B U B B Y. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there a way to like track the phone call? Is that why? Uh, yeah. I mean, I I would look in your phone and see like the last couple people you called, and oh. so some like I mean, I would think we you would call. label him. Babe or Joseph Farmer, and he's I, Bubby, so that I, would throw me for a loop. So that's why I asked, like, mm -hmm. what he's labeled as in your phone, because everyone has nicknames. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so I just, it's just more of a curiosity, so I can go and see this phone call that you talked about mm -hmm. um, that you placed. Um, and then you also called your older sister, right? Um, mm -hmm. What is yeah, she labeled in your phone? Uh, I think it's Apu A P U. A P U. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Older sister. Okay. Like a courtesy word in our in Bangla. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Okay. Um. So Bobby and Apu will be in there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Did you call anyone else? No. 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 Hearing Marzen laugh and joke with the detectives, one might never guess that she had stabbed her sister to death just hours earlier. She appears untroubled by the loss and may not feel any remorse. What number would they? 28. Oh, the 28. June 28. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, uh, 2018, just right? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Okay, so that will make you four years, I guess? Yeah? Okay. And um, obviously, like she told you, you know, we're not here to judge or anything like that. We're here to understand what happened. Okay, and, and, and obviously you taking the time to explain it to us, um, to us it makes a lot more sense, okay? So that's why it was important. I noticed certain things that you said that you, um, I picked up on, um, you mentioned 4.30, you picked that time. Why 4.30? What does that mean? <coughs> the quietest time, because my family stays up late too. Okay. But that time was when I 
everyone was asleep. But also... Yeah, because they would wake up around 6 for prayer time. So I figured... My intention was for that my brother was in my room on the computer for a bit, so I guess I did. And did you, did you like, did you decide, did you stay up late or did you put an alarm? Like, how did you? I just stayed up. Um, I had woken up late um, the day already, so it was just, I would have stayed up. You pretty much stayed up. Okay. And then um, you mentioned that you, you were planning to do it at 4, um, and you can mention that you had already made your mind. When exactly did you make your mind up? Like you said, I'm, I'm going to go through with this. When did, when did you? told yourself, we're going to do this. I kept, um, even when I was thinking that I was, like, still, maybe I shouldn't, but mm, when I um, thought that I was thinking. So essentially from two weeks ago, you were kind of, like, trying to figure out, like, okay, well, I'm definitely going to do this. I'm just trying to figure out how am I going to do this. Okay. I just want to make sure I understood Mm-hmm. And then, um, are you a righty or are you a lefty? Right. You're a righty. Okay. And then, um, you mentioned that, um, obviously, you, uh, she had, like, maybe, like, three or four injuries, um, on the heart. Um, can you, like, can you just tell me, like, because, obviously, I, I just need to figure out, like, how those injuries are going to be showing, like, what's the knife, like, like this, what's like this? Uh, straight like this, but maybe, maybe some, like, Slightly, you know, at an angle. Okay. Because she moves. Okay. Maybe like this. Sometimes. Okay. Like you were holding the knife like this. Okay. Yeah. I just want to make sure I got yeah. that right. And then. No, well, with both hands, actually. Oh, both hands. Okay. And you didn't cut yourself or anything like that? Okay. Like the handle was, was long enough? Because, okay. I mean, you have small hands. So, <laughs> maybe just. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Kind of right. just gets one up, too. And it has, like, got the hilt. Okay, the okay. I, see. I see. And then, uh, and then your Amazon account. Oh, it, it, you mentioned that you're the only one that uses it, right? Like nobody else has access to that or anything mm-hmm. like that. And then, um, just something that we need to ask. Uh, obviously, you planned this on your own. Like nobody helped you or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Um, your parents had no knowledge about this, or any other siblings or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And you mentioned that you didn't want to tell anybody because you knew they were going to talk you out of it. Correct. Why Bubby? What does, what does Bubby mean? <laughs> um, What's the story behind that? It started like, um, I would say, um, like, okay, Buddy, but then one time I was like, hey, I'm a little dyslexic, wrote Bubby. Oh. <laughs> but then, um, so then I would just use the word Bubby just because it sounded funny, but then he would call me that back. So then it was just the same So it was both like just Bubby. Just pretty much Bubby. Okay. And then obviously, if, when, when you're when you're in the bed, um, where did you get the knife? Where before I yeah. got it, um, on the stand, like the bedside where the TV is, it was like on the desk. Oh, like on the desk. Okay, and she didn't see it or anything like that. Well, I put it there after she was asleep. Um, it was just for convenience, without being in the way for me to accidentally touch it. Okay. Okay. Where where did you keep it safe? Oh, prior to that. Um, in my backpack. In your backpack. Okay. What's your backpack look like? Pink. Uh, it's in the closet. Does it have any words on it or anything? It's no. It's just uh, has a gold chain. Okay. It's the only thing that. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. And that's your color. It's under the, there's like a desk in there. It's at the bottom of the floor. Um, you mentioned that she woke up. Um, was it uh, like uh, at the very first step that she woke up? Okay. So she wakes up, she's like, what the fuck? Um, and then you tell her to stop because she kept moving. And at that point, you just, you two went deep into it, I'm assuming. Um, what happened as, as soon as you were done? What, what were you thinking? Probably the whole house up. But she did end up telling me.
Samya awoke during the attack but didn't have time to defend herself. Marzen deliberately aimed for her heart to ensure that the rest of the family wouldn't be awakened by any noise. Part of me still didn't feel like it was right, but, like, I was like, okay, fuck it, don't do it. But also worried because I was going to do me next. And so I was just thinking, like, it was a little too much. woken up late on, um, so your bedtimes are, are a lot later, you know, so mm -hmm. I'm curious, did you wake up yesterday, like, afternoon, or? It was about 5 p.m.? Yeah. Okay, so you woke up, okay, the incident occurred about, like, almost 24 hours ago, so it's, like, almost 2.30 now, so mm -hmm. on the 25th. On Sunday, you will go back 5 p.m. and then you stayed up until after the incident occurred on the, which would be the 26th, correct? So it's like 11 hours later. Right. Okay. I just want to make sure I got my dates right. So at a, mm -hmm. on 9:25 on Sunday, you will go back 5 p.m. around. You said. Mhm. Mm today was today turned Tuesday. It's it's now Tuesday. And mm -hmm. yesterday was Monday. Right. But the incident occurred at 4.30 yesterday, so almost 24 hours ago. Mm -hmm. So you would have obviously been awake, so, mm -hmm. or you, you hadn't gone to bed yet, uh, you know, from 4.30, from midnight to 4.30. Um, okay, so so you woke up on Sunday um, around 5 p.m., and mm -hmm. then you didn't go to bed until after the incident. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and you said you're normally right-handed, but you use both of your hands? The main one on there, but the left one on top for support. Okay, so your right hand on and then the left on top of that for support. Kind of next to it, I guess. Like that. Okay. Okay. Um... Um, just one quick, quick, I know that the, you said the incident happened at uh, 4.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. um, and my understanding is that your whole family was in the house, right? Sleeping. Sleeping. Um, did anybody, like, went to knock on your door, like, to see? I expected a knock, but there was no knock. Okay, you expected at some point somebody was going to knock. Is, is it normal for them to knock, knock on your guys' door, like check on it and stuff like if that? They hear something. But if not, mm -hmm. there's no. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that is that a? Uh, I'm sorry. Obviously, there's different backgrounds and stuff like that. Is that is that a religious thing? Like they just don't barge into your to your bedroom, or can you tell me a little more about that? That's it's usually what? It's locked. It's usually locked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so that's why they just don't go in. Mm -hmm. If it's open, they don't knock. They just kind of open it. Oh, okay, so you usually barge in. Mm -hmm. Okay, but like, um, the mom and dad, they didn't bother to like, go and open or try. Marzen and her sister were both over the age of 20, making it unlikely that their parents would have checked on them during the night. My dad, it just so happens today, didn't bother to do that. Mm -hmm. And the only reason why you eventually did it was because you said your little sister was like, wanting to go inside. Yeah, and I have a weak spot and you have a week right, because you know it was her. But did, did mommy, anybody... Oh, like in, in the daytime, Mommy did come multiple times. She wanted me to eat. And she wanted me to open my window because it was really hot in the house. So she came to check up on me. Uh, what do you remember? What time was that? Uh, like, um, noon and then, like, at 2. Okay. So like, 
every couple hours. So if she kept checking and what happened, the door was locked, what would you say? Like, I would just say later. Or you say what? I'm sorry. Later. Later. Or mm -hmm. If she asked a question, like, are you can open up, just going on. Did she ask for you for your sister at any point? Mm -hmm. Or was just like checking on the girls? It was just kind of both, but more she knew I was awake, so she asked me. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Probably just expensive. And is, is your schedule like that because of your, of your work? Like you work overnight? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I also just hate waking up in the morning. Oh, well, we got that in common. <laughs> <laughs> like, I can go to sleep early and I'll still wake up red eyes if I wake up in the morning. Oh, okay. I see. It's rough waking up early. Uh, I'm struggling right now. Mm -hmm. I used to be in a position where I used to work only nights. And it was beautiful. <laughs> you know, but waking up early is a little rough. I like being at least past 2 p.m. Oh, yeah. I will go to bed like at 4 in the morning. Uh -huh. yeah, so <laughs> no. right. so it's, it's basically not abnormal for, yeah. for you to be left alone in your room or to be in your room. Like, no one's going to make sure they see you, like physically mm -hmm. see you or your sister. It's normal that if it's locked and you just tell them to go away, they, they go, away. go away. Okay. Um, and were you able to, like, because I, um, I spoke with your dad a little bit and you guys pray often. Were you able, are you allowed to pray in your room and that's okay? Mm -hmm. Or, okay. Like, they don't make you pray in a certain area in the house? They prefer it. Like, the living room has more area, uh -huh. but it's not required or anything. Okay. Um... Okay, so your sisters only came towards the end, like when, um, shortly before you called 911, they mm -hmm. came into the room. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. My younger sister wanted to see her, so after I told her to them, um, so I let her in too, okay. but just them too. Okay, and where did they, like, did they stand, did they sit? They stood. This is a small room mm -hmm. that takes up most of it, and then it was just standing. There is standing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, so, question about the Snapchat thingy. Um, the chats don't save on there. Oh, okay. So, there's nothing there from friends I talked to you about it. Okay. Yeah. Just letting you know. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. I don't think I have anything else. Do you think you're good? Okay. You just raise your right hand for me. Do you promise and swear everything we've talked about has been true and accurate to the best of your knowledge? Okay. All right. Can I get you any more water? Yeah. Okay. Is there any food I haven't been eating in over a day? I don't. Uh, are you okay with snacks? There's not like food here per se, mm -hmm. but I can get. You, I can probably get you a snack. Like a vending machine snack like or something. Like a vending machine, would that, okay? would that be good? Yeah. Is there a preference? Like, or are you allergic to anything? Yeah. No? Um, I kind of want something savory. Savory? What does that mean? Is that like chocolate? Mm, it's or like something? salty. Salty, okay. Um, Not okay. Sweet, Not sweet. Okay. We can see if there's something available. Yeah, the vending machine. Yeah, yeah I, I can check really, for you. Yeah. I, I really have a lot of candy, but I, I doubt you want candy. <laughs> Okay. Um, also, another thing that I forgot to ask before. Um, so, just a part of any investigation, there's obviously evidence that's going to be collected, right? And so, what we have to do, not we, us, but it gets sent off to a lab, and the lab says, yes, this person's DNA is on it, and this person's DNA is on it. Mm -hmm. um, so, that's obviously going to happen in this case, um, but in order for that to happen, um, they request a sample of your DNA, which means like a cotton swab in your mouth just to say like that the DNA that's on this is your DNA and that her DNA is her DNA. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, are you okay with us collecting your DNA with a cotton swab? Mm -hmm. That's okay? Okay. And does that hurt anything like that? Do you like my fingerprints or something? We don't have, um, so no, so DNA, um, there is DNA, like technically, and you're, you know, the fingerprints, like if I were to touch you, my DNA would be on you, but as far as being able to, like, uh, definitively say, it has to be, like, through, like, your saliva. So that's why we put a cotton swab in your mouth. That's why I was asking, like, if you needed more water or whatever, but yeah, 
So we don't draw blood or anything, but that's, you know, to get someone's DNA, it's normally through blood or saliva. Now that the interview is concluded, Marzan's DNA will be collected, although, at this stage, it's largely a formality. They're just, yeah, definitively saying, like, instead of, because obviously your DNA is not in any system. You've, you know, never been in trouble before or anything like that, so your DNA is not in any system. So I would have to get, um, you know, a judge to say, hey, I need her DNA, or you can consent and give us your DNA now. It's, it's totally up to you. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, like, that's the only way that we do it is by, uh, like, your saliva because we are not doctors and we cannot draw people's <laughs> bloods. Uh, so, yeah, it's up to you, but it's just um, it's just a step that we have to do um, in the investigation. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. All right, um, I'll get you more water, and then we'll work on getting you some chips, and then I'll come back with that stuff to do the cotton swab for your mouth, okay? Okay, so that, will you try reaching out to him? Um, I, I will, actually, yeah, but not tonight, but I will have to talk to him at some point. Mm -hmm. Is there, uh, since we're eventually going to talk, is there anything you want me to tell him? Uh, or do you want to, like, do you wanna write him send a letter? him a letter or something? Mm -hmm. like, whatever makes you feel more comfortable. I feel like letters are, like, a little more personal, but, yeah. um. I think it's just wondering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, he, we need to make contact with him. And like I said, if there's any anything you want me to relay to him, you know, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't think there's. there's nothing you want to tell. Marzan has chosen not to send a message to Farmer, who has already stated that he does not wish to have any contact with her following her actions. We're gonna get that stuff for you. Get you some more water. Uh, so, when will I get to use my phone again? Um, I'm actually. I have to take your phone. Um, okay. So, uh, it's part of the investigation. I have to take your phone. I'll be writing a search warrant uh, for the judge. So the judge will tell me, like, hey, yes, you have probable cause to go into her phone, and then we're gonna go into it and download it and um, go from there. But if you need like numbers or something from it, we don't I can I can get you those numbers. Okay? But will I get it back? Uh maybe one day. When is Well I don't know, it just it just kinda depends on where the investigation goes and um and kinda what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you, I mean yeah you might. So you're gonna look through which things? Uh, probably everything, to be honest. Every form of communication, just to see who you may have talked to. I mean, you've been pretty open with us, but so this is kind of how this works. So someone will tell you a story. They'll tell you, you know, their side of the story, and then there's another side of the story, you know. And then somewhere in the middle, uh, we normally find what we call, you know, the truth. So I'm not saying that you lied, but I can't take your word for it. I have to back it up with evidence. I have to corroborate it, which means that I have to prove that what you're telling me, what you sat here and told me, is true and accurate. And the way I do that is I go through people's phones. Mm -hmm. And I prove, like, yes, yeah, she made this phone call. She called Bubby at this time. She called Abu at this time. She called 911 next, you know, and just kind of go through what you said. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, there's always people, even though you've, you've told me everything, um, essentially, um, you know, people will talk about it and they'll communicate. And the communication that you have with your sister, like, I need to read about that. I need to, I need to see it. Um, because I can take your word for it all day long, and I'm not saying you're a liar, but mm -hmm. I just have to corroborate it. I, I can't take your word for it, even though I want to and I, I believe you and I don't feel like you've lied to me, but I can't just take people's word for it um, in this line of work. Mm -hmm. um, I have to corroborate everything that is told to me, if I can. So if I can corroborate it, I will. If I can't, then it, it's just kind of your word. I just feel like most of the information isn't on the text it's on the calls, like, really, the important stuff is called about, even between them two. Sure. Yeah. 
try. Yeah, no, it's just part of the investigation. Um, I honestly take everyone's phone. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, uh, when it can be released, it, it's released. But I just, I just don't have the answer. Um, because, um, you know, I'm just, I'm the lead investigator. I'm not the state attorney or anything like that. So mm -hmm. at the end of the day, the state attorney has the final say on, on what happens. Okay. But I can get you numbers if you need anything from it. Um, I just, you can't have it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions before we get you some water and hopefully find you some chips? Mm -hmm. Will you just ask him, like, his side of it? Joseph? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I know he doesn't understand it the same way I did. From the last call, there was, he was in the green that, like, he thinks I forgot some of the important calls when we talked about stuff. But to me, it's obvious that he forgets important talks. He has a bad memory. Um, but, um, so then things that I see as reoccurring to him, it might seem like not there or like once. We just didn't quite see to level the last call. Yeah, he didn't like see eye to eye. Mm -hmm. I understand. And I mean, to be honest, like a male's perspective on something versus a female is probably never going to be the same. Mm -hmm. That's just life. Especially when I feel like I can see the influence on him. He can't see it because mm -hmm. he's not being influenced. Sure. So things like that. Yeah. <coughs> okay. All right, we'll be right back, okay? Marzan is visibly upset about the detectives going through her phone, and she seems unaware that she is unlikely to ever regain access to it. Fatiha Marzan has been charged with the murder of her sister and is currently awaiting trial. Remember, it's your curiosity that fuels this channel. Keep exploring, stay inspired, and join us for more amazing content next time.